Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday, and today we are opening three different boxes of 1980 tops, and we are trying to find the Ricky Henderson rookie card in a PSA 10 condition. There are only 24 of those, according to the PSA population report on their website in existence, and they are obviously highly sought after. So maybe we can make that population report go up by at least one today. I hope so. My goal is to hopefully find uh, three Hendersons I'm hoping for. I did have a, a fourth box, but it wasn't completely sold out. So I'm not going to open a baseball card exchange authenticated box um, and just leave the other half of the packs unopened. So anyway, here we go. Um, we're going to start off with a wax box. We're going to start on the left-hand side. I have a wax box, a vending box, which is going to be interesting, and also another wax box. So let me tell you a little bit about these products um, before I start opening these up as people populate the room. So I guess we'll do the vending box last. The vending box is from a sealed case. Uh, you can check out the bottom right there. Ultimate Champion here says, bring it home, Jabs. Ultimate Champion, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I hope you'll check out Ultimate Champion. There's the FASC. That means from a sealed case. That's why this box looks like it's in such pristine condition. We don't have any uh, wear on the sides or corners of the box, which is uh, really nice for sure. And Baseball Card Exchange, by the way, is the industry leader in authenticating old vintage unopened wax boxes and packs. So... Uh, I am hoping that there is at least one Henderson in that box. Here's our first box. Let's get this show on the road. The entire break list is up on Patreon. If you'd like to check out the screenshot there, you can uh, hopefully head on over there and check that one out. We can take a look at this um, authentication sticker here from the Baseball Card Exchange, authenticated by Steve Hart. And uh, he told me personally that 1980 Tops has been an extremely hot product for his store the past month or two, as you know. We've talked about it before. The last, uh, I don't know, two months, baseball card has baseball cards been flying off the shelves and off of eBay. A lot of people buying the older wax. And he told me they had about 20 boxes of these two months ago, and now they're completely sold out. And no, it wasn't me that bought them all. I was only able to get one from him. Emily, how's it going? Heather's got the link for Ultimate Collector. And there's Caleb G says, how's it going? He just bought my first high-end boom box. Going to record the opening and post soon. Another mystery box coming next week. Too much love. Caleb, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Caleb. And uh, also Norman says, hey, Eric, my wax pack invoice was canceled. Uh, Norman, I was getting a little worried there because um, it was unpaid and I was getting ready for the break. So I had to cancel it. And now we're all sold out. But I do have some vending spots left, Norman, if you'd like to get in the vending spot. So I hope you check out Norman. Kevin's card says, can't wait for this opening, Eric. Me either, Kevin. Thank you very much. And Ethan Hardy says, this goes to Heather if she opens two packs. Ethan, thank you very much. Heather is here, but she has her work cut out for you. Uh, Heather is sitting right next to me, and she's going to be putting your links up there. Uh, so make sure you check out all of those guys um, that just super chatted. Heather will get their links for you. And OMG is here, says, let's get some fire. Good luck, everyone. Hope you get some nines and tens of a legendary card enjoy the break everyone appreciate all your support omg's got a great channel i hope you could check him out and justin j says hey jabs can i get a shout out to my boys watching here in seattle ashton and lucas thanks ashton and lucas from up in seattle one of my favorite cities thanks guys for watching i hope we can find a henderson i hope we can find three hendersons and i hope at least one comes back a psa 10 and jerry bear breaks is here and says let's do it eric good vibes jerry bear thank you very much how do you got your work cut out for you um all right so here we go all right so patrick p we're going to break the seal. Let's just show you one last time. I always feel kind of bad opening these beautiful from a sealed case. or This one isn't from a sealed case, but these beautiful wax boxes. One last time before we open this. And um, that's one less box of 1980 tops in the inventory. I wonder how many boxes the, that are left. All right, here we go. The seal is being broken. Do it very carefully. All right, the seal is off this box. Back in 1980, these were 
Only 25 cents per pack. And now, obviously, they go $75 to $80 a pack. Daddy Daughter Car Break says that next box just went up in value. There we go. All right, first box. Patrick P., you have the very first pack. Let me get your name flipped around. I've never actually pulled a Henderson rookie out of a pack. I tried it once before in a video, and I failed. And I was very sad about that, but the video did uh, very well. A lot of you guys watched it, at least. I think it had like 170,000 views. And I waited a year. Now it's time to get back to it. So there's the pack. So let's take out Patrick's. The way I'm going to go is I'm going to take them. Uh, usually what I do is I start in the top left and work my way down, then go over here and work my way down over here and over here. Um, I see a super chat from Mesa Things says, found out I can shoot a time lapse while your live stream runs in the corner of my screen. Life is good at Mesa Things. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Thank you very much. Uh, technology is definitely pretty awesome. And Ryan McFarlane says, this is my box. I'm pack number 23, and I'm nervous as blank. Ryan, thank you very much. Uh, best of luck to everyone that bought in. What we'll do is uh, we'll go through, and uh, we pull some Hall of Famers and stuff like that. We'll get those sleeved up, and the better Hall of Famers, we'll get those top-loaded for you. Uh, guys like Nolan Ryan and Ozzy Smith. Uh, Janino says, just stop talking, open. All right, here we go. First pack, let's show you the... Uh, rapper, we won't do this for every rapper. We'll just do it for this one. Here we go. Back then, you could get an autographed baseball. Looks like that was the promotion. Can we get a Ricky in the very first pack? Baseball card break says, awesome break, Eric. Always bringing the fire. Thank you very much. Baseball card breaks. There's Rob with the first pitch time. There's our piece of gum still intact. And uh, one thing I always look for whenever I'm opening old stuff like this. I look at the back and there's not a whole ton of stain on that back card. There's a little bit of a stain. Uh, sometimes that stain will tell you how much moisture the boxes took on in their, in this case, 40 years of existence. Anthony Cato says, uh, he's got a super chat there. Anthony, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And Jerry Bear Breaks says, round of applause for Heather working overtime. Yes, she's doing a great job. Thank you so much, Jerry Bear. If you're watching the live stream, Heather's got all of the links. And Amasa Thig says, Kazoo Fanfare for pack number 23. All right, here we go, everybody. Pack number one. Baseball card break says, watch, watch your ball hawk vids. Bring them back, maybe. I really appreciate that. I can't uh, do it right now because there's no um, season going on. We have our first Hall of Famer. It's a Willie Stargell. Willie Stargell, 1980 tops. Another thing we're going to look for is the centering throughout the box. Hopefully, the cards are well centered. That's one wild card from the 19, uh, early 80s and 70s. There's Justin K with a $1.99 Super Chat. Thank you very much, Justin. I appreciate that. We got Ron Hodges. There's Mike Lacrosse, Steve Trout. No relation to Mike Trout. There's Amos Otis. Gary Carter, another Hall of Famer. So two Hall of Famers, Gary Carter and also Willie Stargell in the very first um, pack, which is nice. We got Randy Stein. Then we got Bobby Mercer and Bob Tolan. So two Hall of Famers from pack number one for Patrick. Uh, Patrick, thank you very much. Let's take these wrappers. We're going to keep save these wrappers. I'm going to send them the wrappers as well. So if, when you team bag them, can you put the wrapper on the back? You know what I mean? We're going to get you the wrappers as well. I, I think some of you guys are big fans of wrappers, so Heather's going to put the wrapper as she uh, team bags up your cards. And here, by the way, here's Patrick's name plate. almost forgot about that one. All right, pack number one is in the books. Ethan Hardy with a $10 Super Chat. Thank you, Ethan and Mr. Hardy, for watching. I really appreciate that. Now it's time for Ultimate Collector. Here we go. The RMM says the gum looks tasty. I'll tell you what, the gum does look... Um, not that bad. I don't know why I put that aside like I was going to eat it. Um, it's kind of graying a little bit, but... All right, here we go. Next pack. Pack number two. There he is. Ultimate Champion says, okay, let's do this. I'm up now. You're up to up at the dish. Let's see if we can find you. Hey, there's Johnny Grubb leading things off. Johnny Grubb from the Texas Rangers. All right, Brandon, best of luck to you. Um, I'm really hoping that if we find a Henderson... It's not going to have a wax stain on it, be at the back. How about a Bobby Valentine? That's a nice one. You guys remember Bobby Valentine? Um, kind of most famous for sneaking back into the dugout 
after it was being injected with a fake mustache. That was a pretty funny moment. There's a Hall of Famer right there, Andre Dawson. That's a nice one. There's Dave Skaggs, Grant Jackson. Hopefully all of you can get at least one or two Hall of Famers. Jerry Terrell's the next one. Willie Randolph, Obsessed Collector, says that Valentine is a 10. A lot of these cards are looking really, really crisp coming out of this box. Uh, the corners are very nice. There's a nice Willie Randolph. We got a Blue Jays card, and the last card is going to be Jerry Royce is the last one. J. Bob and Sons here says, these look really good. Uh, that they do. So, Brandon, thank you very much. You have an Andre Dawson. We'll get that one sleeved up. And also with the pack wrapper for Brandon. All right, number two is in the books. Here's number three. Three, thanks for watching, everybody, um, that's joined us right now. So far, if you just joined, there's only um, been two packs open. We still have a bunch more to go, up over the 1,000 live viewer mark. Thank you so much for spending your Thursday with us. We'll probably be here for about an hour or two. Adam is up right now in pack number three. These old packs will take a little more time opening these ones. It's not like the newer stuff where we kind of just go through at a brisk pace looking for autographs and stuff like that. Get that piece. I like how the gum comes off nice and easy. Don't have to mess around with it too much. There's Baseball Brady with a 99 cent super chat. Thank you very much, Baseball Brady. I really appreciate your support. I hope you guys will check out Baseball Brady. All right, let's see. We got a Dave Cash. Uh, come on, let's get some Hall of Famers. Roger Metzger is not one. Steve Kemp is not one. Warren Brustar, there's Bombo Rivera. Some of you guys that are in your 50s and 60s might remember a lot of these players. Uh, James Reynolds says, these are in great shape, Eric. Yes, this is a very nice box. Uh, Obsessed Collector says, these are the cleanest 1980 cards he's ever seen. That's a good sign. NC Baseball Cards with a dollar super chat. Thank you very much, NC Baseball Cards. And Tim Magdaleno is here and says, Eric, thanks for all the great pulls the past few weeks. Hope it keeps up. I reached 150 followers, and Gore made one. My giveaway, the next goes 200. The next goal. So if you'd like to check out Tim M, please check him out and maybe be his number 200 right now. You got a little bit of downtime as we get Adam's pack sleeved up. And I do the handoff to Heather. Thank you very much, Tim. And how about this one? He's up right now. Tim's got pack number four out of this first box. And this first box has been supplying us with some very, very nice cards in terms of condition right now. We do have a few Hall of Famers that we've seen. I got Ethan Hargy, the RMM, and I really appreciate the uh, Ethan Super Chat. I um, hope you guys will check his channel out. All right, Tim M., here we go. Again, if you'd like to check out Tim, he's, his Super Chat's at the top of the screen. I do believe Heather's working on finding his link right now. All right, Tim, best of luck to you. Let's see what we can find. Oh, that I like how the gum just falls right off the back card. It does leave a small little stain, as you guys know, but I like that I don't have to mess around with it like I did with the 1981 cards from Don Russ. We got Ted Sizemore. Got a little excited there for a second. I saw the A's nameplate at the bottom coming up, but that's not the Ricky. That's Mike Edwards. Joe's Cards and Toys says, good luck. I saw Ricky play for the Mets at Shea Stadium. Joe's Cards and Toys. Thank you very much. Um, yep, that's something that you could always tell uh, down the road to younger kids and stuff. I once saw him play. I know that I'll be telling my kids I saw Barry Bonds play. There's Buck Martinez, the Blue Jays announcer, Scott Sanderson. We got Roger Erickson, Neil Allen. Dave Winfield, who is a Hall of Famer, a little slightly off center there, maybe 40, 60, 30, 70. It's a nice one, though. We'll get it sleeved up. Steve Renko. And we have Ron Davis. The last one's going to be Jerry Naron in pack number four. So four packs down out of 72 total packs and still no Ricky. Thank you very much, Tim. Here's Tim's cards as we do the handoff. Next up, Mark is up, and Mark's going all in tonight. Mark has a grand total of four in a row. Mark, let's see if we can find you that Henderson. All right, um, Jason Five says, last card in the first pack was an error. It was Bob Sykes on the back, the other um, uh, other guy on the front. Too bad for the gum stain. That, that darn gum stain always gets us... All right, here we go. Next pack. Looking for Ricky Henderson. If we can find a PSA 10 Henderson, we have it made. It'll probably be one of my... People say, what's your favorite pool of all time? 
Um, I have some really good pulls that I always consider. I did pull a Mike Trout Gold Rookie card uh, about a year and a half ago, and it came back as a PSA 10. I uh, also pulled a Vladimir Guerrero Super Fractor card. I'm not sure if Paul ever got that one graded or not, but that was uh, one of my favorites as well. Blake is here. Blake says, I got a one-of-one -one printing plate yellow of Evan White out of a 2018 Panini Contenders draft break from ABC's Need 1, 2, 3. It's my first printing plate. Congratulations on that. I hope you guys will check out Blake's channel. Anytime you can pull a one-on-one, -on -one, it's a good day. Uh, some folks love those printing plates. You can kind of set the price on eBay or whatever and see what you can get. There's Mark Hill, Rick Waits. We got a Dan Ford, Jim Wright. Roy Smalley All-Star card. Come on, Ricky, where are you? There's Eric Wilkins, Ross Baumgarten, and our last card is going to be Roger Freed in our next pack. There's Armando Guzman. Armando, how's it going? Armando says, what's up, Eric? I see you hit 60K. Yes, we did, Armando. Welcome back. We will have a giveaway shortly here. Um, I'm trying to think exactly what we're going to do, but I know that Armando has an Alan Trammell that he donated to that 60K giveaway, so make sure you check out Armando. Very generous dude. Um, donating an Alan Trammell auto that he got out of a hot box. Now our next pack for Mark. Let's see what we can find for you, Mark. Best of luck. There's Aaron R. Says, four shout-outs last night. Guest Heather was a teacher. Good guess, Aaron. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your support, um, and you are a good guesser, so while you're making prognostications, how many Ricky Hendersons do you think we're going to find tonight? Uh, I'm hoping that there's going to be at least three out of these three boxes. Um, if maybe one box may not have one, but we have three, so we have triple the chances. There's Mark Fidrich, a.k.a. The Bird. Uh, had a great rookie season for sure. There's Jer Bear it says, remember to tip the dealer and smash that like button. Jer Bear Breaks, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Jer Bear Breaks. And for all of you that have hit that thumbs up button, I really appreciate that. Looks like it just went up a little bit once he said that. Um, looks like 147 of you have done that. So I really appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe and thumbs up button. And we'll have more videos for you every single day. And make sure you check out Jer Bears as well. There's Mickey Lala. He's a nice one. Randy Neiman was a former bullpen coach for, what was it, the Mets, I think? Uh, there's Jose Cruz. who's a solid player back then. Willie Hernandez. We got a Scott McGregor. And the last one is Gene Richards uh, is the final card in pack number two for Mark. So two packs down. Next pack up for Mark is pack number seven. Let's see what we can find from that one. Get this one out. Uh, Fox News says, hey, Eric, last night in a break, I want a one of one. A Eugenio Suarez and an Aquino Auto. That's a pretty nice one. Looks like the Reds had a nice break for you right there. Timothy says, 1980 was my very first year of collecting. Uh, JC says, those cards look pristine. I'll tell you what they do. They are in great shape for sure. And BCBA card says, love the channel, Eric. BCBA, I really appreciate that. I hope you will check out BCBA cards. For a second there, I saw Rick, and I got somewhat excited and disappointed at the same time because it would have been a gum stain Ricky Henderson card if it had been the card that we're after. All right, let's see what we have in our next pack. There's Greg Pryor, Duffy Dyer, Dave Palmer. Eddie Murray, very nice Eddie Murray. That is Eddie Murray third year card. Nice centering on that one. There's J. Bob and Sons. It says, I am so nervous. Hope you all got my second pack on the list, J. Bob and Sons. If I'm not mistaken, I got your first pack in the first box, and you have another pack in the second box I saw come in. I really appreciate your support, J. Bob and Sons. Check this Eddie Murray out. And Sky High Breaks says, Love me a live break while I'm sorting my card. Sky High Breaks, thank you very much. Check out the back of the Murray. It's a beautiful looking card. Eddie Murray rookie card from 78. It's one of my favorite cards. They're probably putting my top, I don't know, top 100 for sure of all time. Sam Johnson says, recent subscriber to your channel. You've totally re-inspired my passion for the hobby. You're the man, Jabs. Sam, thank you very much for the kind words and the super chat. And Lewis says, Jabs, don't let me down. I sent you an email back in your multi-case um, opening of 2019 Chronicles. I want to send you some of my company's product to you to try. Chips made out of 100% Farm-raised chicken breast. Okay. Lewis, um, send me an email at ericj underscore 100 at yahoo.com. And um, I will um, – that's probably the best spot to email me right now. 
Um, I check that one pretty often for the brakes that I'm filling, so I definitely will check that out. I hope you guys will check out Lewis's channel, and thank you for your support. There's a Steve Garvey, another nice one will get sleeved up for you. Steve Garvey, not a Hall of Famer, but definitely a star during this time. There's Manny Moda, Cecil Cooper. We got Larry Murray. Daryl Knowles is the last one right there with the gum stain. Oh, wait, no, there's a sticking card, too. They're sticking together just a tad. Rick Manning. I thought for a second Rick was the last card there. I was like, Daryl, wait a minute. Uh, okay, so that's the next pack down. Eddie Murray was the best one in that um, pack. For me, there's Eric Palm. Let's get this wrapper for Mark as well. Eric Palm says, not a huge pull, but got a Mike Trout Relic 150 patch, number out of 150 from a 2019 Tops Blaster Box. Hey, at least got me excited. Eric, thank you very much. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, it's not the biggest pull, but if it gets you excited, if you like it, then it's definitely cool for sure. Some people like those manufactured patches. Some people don't. Um, I actually like the ones from 2020 a lot, the ones with the rookie card medallions. I think they're really awesome, and it's a cool idea. Matt's Baseball Card breaks this up, Eric. Everyone stay safe, and let's pull a few Rickies. Thank you very much, Matt. I appreciate that. I hope that we can find a few Rickies. We shall see. The gum doesn't even need to be pulled off of this last one. Willis, we're on box, or it's only our eighth pack of the night. So far, no Rickies. All right, so here we go. There's Mike Flanagan leading things off. Rick Dempsey, we got a Butch Hobson. Does anybody know what the indicator Rickies are? Or the indicated cards? Sometimes there's cards that'll tip you off as what's coming. There's the Think Tank Todd Richardson. There's Jay Johnson. He always has great ideas. I'm listening. Todd, Greg Luzinski, Bill Lee, the spaceman Bill Lee. Kind of a really out there type dude. We got a Pete L in there, there's Bob Lacey, and Roy Thomas is the last one. And the last card is just a little bit sticky with the Craig Chamberlain. Last card not taking any damage, but... All right, so, Mark, those are your four packs. Sorry that we weren't able to find the Ricky for you. Here is his wrapper to go with that. Thanks, Heather, I really appreciate it. For those of you that are asking if we have more spots left in the break, all the wax packs are sold, but there are still several spots in the vending box available It's 15 cards per spot, which is the same amount in a wax pack. Cracking Packs with DND. &D. How's it going, Cracking Packs? Thank you very much for the support. I appreciate the super chat. Now we're finishing off the very last um, stack here with pack number nine. Still have yet to find Ricky, but we've only opened nine packs. Lots more to go. Spurs Cards 21 says, congrats on 60K subs, Eric. Love the channel. Miss the mail days. You get insane fan mail. When are you going to show us your millions and millions of cards you have? Stay safe, take care. Spurts cards, thank you very much. It actually is about $2 million. I'm not just lying about that. I was thinking about maybe um, doing a, a live stream. I don't know if you guys would be into this or not. Live stream video looking through all of these collections that I buy. Um, it's just boxes of boxes of unsorted cards from the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. And um, I've never been through them. I don't have the time. This piece of gum just, just destroyed, so we'll just kind of... Toss this one in the trash over here. Save the wrapper for Jason. All right, so here we go. Bake McBride leads things off. Jeff Newman from the A's. Anytime you see a green nameplate, you have to get a little excited because that's the Ricky Henderson. Uh, the Ricky Henderson has that as well since he's on the A's. There's Keith Hernandez, 79 uh, MVP with Willie Stargell. Vita Blue, we got Bill Buckner, who passed away about a year ago or so. Jerry Garvin, Bob Stinson, a highlights card of Pete Rose. That's a nice one. Love um, Pete Rose cards. Need to get his rookie card one of these days. Maybe once uh, my brother and I go to the National, I can hunt that one down. Fred Howard. Might have a Reggie Jackson coming up, which will be a nice one. Yep, Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson, Hall of Famer right there. Beautiful looking card. Dale Barra and the gum card, which always somewhat sticks to the previous card, is, oh man, it's Nolan Ryan. That stinks. Nolan Ryan and J.R. Richard take the gum hit right there. So uh, we'll still, I mean, I think on principle, we'll still get that one sleeved up because it's Nolan Ryan for Jason, but a nice Reggie Jackson in there. And that concludes our first stack. We're just underway. Nine packs done out of 72. Uh, Virginia Beach Collectibles says, Ricky, 
has been elusive. It's time to locate him. Virginia Beach, thank you very much. I sure hope that we can find him. Uh, all right, next, we're going to the next stack. We're going to move right across to the top right. Here's the first pack out of that stack. It's for Joseph S. Best of luck to you, Joseph. I'm really hoping if we have a Ricky Henderson appear, it's not going to be that last spot of the pack taking the gum hit. That gum is cracked. I don't know why I'm saving the good condition gum. I don't know. It's just... I'm definitely not going to eat it, although I'm sure a lot of people would watch that um, to see, uh, feel my pain. There's Matty M. How's it going, Matty? We got a Burt Hooten leading things off. There's a Tim Foley right there. What else do we have? Brian Downing, John Candelaria. We got Jim Kern. Francisco Barrios is a nice uh, condition card, at least. There's Lee Lacey. We have a rookie card here. Rookie card of Ramon Aviles, Dickie Knowles, and Kevin Saucier. Um, they would go on to win the World Series in 1980. Dickie Knowles, somebody sent me his, auto or, yeah, his autograph in a mystery box. That one went to Travis Packpools. Matty M says 1980 is one of his favorite designs. Barry Bonnell. Dan Petrie, and the last one is Mike Prawley. Mike Prawley, which uh, some folks in Pennsylvania like to say that. Instead of probably, they say, yeah, I'll probably be there, or whatever. I don't know why people around here say that. But Mike Prawley gets the gum stain. Joseph, thank you very much. Here's Joseph's along with his wrapper. All right, Jake is up next. Number 11. Box one, spot 11. Here's that next pack. See what we can find. Let's find that Ricky. Come on, Ricky. Also, the very top cards, kind of tough to tell, but sometimes they do get a little bit of wax on them from the seal of the pack. Um, sometimes you can get that off, though. Um, some of the older collectors out there that used to have this problem with their vintage cards would use, I think, pantyhose to get... You can see the little bit of wax. If I get it just right in the light, you'll see a little smudge of wax on Mike Lum's face right there. All right, let's see what we can find. We have Victor Cruz, Ellis Valentine. I remember this card. This was, I think, my first ever 1980 Topps card was an Ellis Valentine card. I didn't have too many of them. I don't know even where I got that one, but I do remember that one. That was in my personal collection. There's Rick Langford, Joe Ferguson, Dale Alston. There's Lee May. Um, what else do we have? Andy Hassler. Pete Redfern, Dave Collins. We have a Dan Quisenberry rookie card. So if my brother was here, he'd be going crazy about this one. Dan Quisenberry had a great career as a closer. We've got Gary Matthews. And the last one is going to be Fred Kendall with a little bit of a gum stain on there. Jafet says, what's the best card so far? We found Willie Starge. We found Reggie Jackson. We found a Nolan Ryan with a gum stain on it. Um... There's the next one. What's a fair price to pay for a Ricky Henderson? Matty, it's all condition-based. I've seen them as low as about, about 20 bucks um, at flea markets and stuff that obviously might have a little crease or something in them. Syed Ahmed card breaks. Hey, there's Jono. What's up, Jono? He's watching. Says, hit that like button, everyone. Syed Ahmed, thank you very much. I hope you'll check out Syed Ahmed's channel. Jake, you're up now, and Jake's got a run of two packs right here. Let's see what we can find for Jake in spot number 12. Looking for Ricky Henderson. So far, I haven't found him yet. There's JJ Sports Card says, I just got like 500,000 cards on offer up for about 50 bucks. Only looked about through one binder so far, about 50 Hall of Famers and a Dwight Gooden rookie. That's, you know what, 500,000 cards, a half million for 50 bucks. That is a huge score right there. JJ Sports Cards, I don't know if you're broadcasting that on your channel, but that's something I would definitely be interested in watching because I buy uh, collections as well. Uh, not quite that cheap, but I love looking through them. Uh, Jerry Bear Breaks says, how much does a box of these run for these days? Jerry Bear Breaks, thank you very much. I think usually these boxes nowadays go for anywhere between two grand and about $2,300. And I do believe that's only going to go up um, as the supply of 1980 tops is dwindling. I do know there's one box available on eBay right now. And um, it's an auction, so we'll have to see what it ends up at. I think right now it's at $1,500. I predict it's going to end up between $2,100 and $2,500. There's J.R. Richard. He was a flamethrower back in the day before his stroke uh, ended his career. Look at all those Ks. 303, 313. 
Uh, too bad that uh, his career was cut short. Imagine him along with uh, Mike Scott and Nolan Ryan would eventually get in that Astros rotation. There's Burt Blylevin. He's a Hall of Famer. We'll get Burt sleeved up. What else do we have? There's Rick Sutcliffe. A lot of people like Rick Sutcliffe. Good announcer, Jim Morrison. Jack Billingham. We got a checklist card. We got Dale Murray, and it's a rookie card of Bruce Benedict and uh, Larry Bradford and Ellie M uh, Miller take Eddie Miller taking the hit for the gum right there. So Burt Bly eleven for is Jake's best card right there. Let's get this all put nice and neat with the gum wrapper at the back. Heather's doing a great job sleeving these up. Thank you very much. Looks so professional with the wrapper in the back of the pack. I like it. All right, next up, Jake. Let's see if we can find for you spot number 13 in our first box. Remember, we have three total boxes to go through tonight. All right, so Jake looking for Ricky. There's Bobby Gritch leading things off. What's the oldest box that's still affordable? Oh, I don't know, maybe uh, 81. Even 81 tops is like $700 now or $600. It's pretty crazy. Just to see, says, I saw 1980 tops and fell out of my chair. I love vintage. Thank you very much, Joseph. See, there's a lot of vintage fans out there. And uh, I love 1980 tops. Good year. The year I was born. Ryan is a new subscriber. Glad to have you aboard, Ryan. I really appreciate that. There's a nice Dave Concepcion. Really sweet fielder right there. There's Mario Soto, uh, Lance Parrish, Richie Zisk, Paul Hartzell. we got a Jose Cardinal. We have a Keith Hernandez and also Fred Lynn. That's a pretty cool-looking card. Daddy-daughter card break says Ricky indicators are Chris Knapp, Willie Wilson, George Hendrick, and Mike Anderson. So from that list, Willie Wilson was probably my favorite player. So I'm going to be looking out for Willie Wilson. Thank you very much, Daddy-daughter, for letting us know. Uh, so look out for those guys. There's a very nice Johnny Bench card, Hall of Famer Johnny Bench. We'll get this one sleeved up for sure. Johnny Bench had a really nice career. 1968 tops was his rookie card. Check out the back of that bad boy. Really clean looking back. A lot of folks think that Johnny Bench was the best catcher of all time. It's at least an argument. You got him. Some people say Mike Piazza. Some people say Yvonne Rodriguez. Some people say Yogi Berra. Anyway, there's Tug McGraw as the last card with a slight gum stain on it for Jake. So, Jake, favorite card for you is the Johnny Bench. Get that one sleeved up along with your wrapper. There's Jake's. All right, Wayne is up next. Wayne's got one spot in this box, and I think he's got two spots in the next box as well. So, best of luck to you, Wayne. Let's see what we can find for you. Here's your pack. And away we go. Looks like we have a Lynn Jones leading things off. Let's get that gum off of the card. All right, our first one, we got Lynn Jones, Ken Reitz, Chris Knapp, Jerry Mumphrey, Billy Allman, Larry Heil, Dan Spilner. Hey, we got a Ricky Henderson. There he is. The Ricky Henderson card that we were looking for goes to Wayne Crawford. In box number one, spot number 14, congratulations, Wayne Crawford, Ricky Henderson. The centering is great. I can't see the chat. Uh, do, do, you, uh, do you see it on the computer, Heather? No. Uh, it's, are you serious? Can you feel? Uh, it says why. Are you live? Uh, can you guys see this? Are you still live? Do you see me on there? Are yeah. you? Can you see the Ricky Henderson? Yeah, put your video in. Are we live? Uh -uh. Oh my God, are you serious? It's black. Wait, Let me see what you see. Let me see what you see. It says live, but we're frozen. Ricky Henderson, we broke the internet here with the Ricky Henderson rookie card. It still says live. Let's see if it comes back. I don't see anyone's chat. Um, is the chat scrolling there? But hopefully everybody can see that we pulled the Ricky Henderson rookie card right there 
and we broke the internet while doing so. So Wayne, congratulations on that one. Let's see if we come back. It's still counting time. I'm just gonna put this one down and start to get the one touch ready to go. I can, Wait, did you just put your, no. I just put the card down. For some reason, the chat's not moving. I can't believe this. We pull a possible $35,000 card and the internet breaks. All right, so I'm gonna get this one touched up. We'll see. I don't know if they can even like see this right now if it's just us in here just talking to ourselves all right well let's get this bad boy one touch we might have to start a new stream i'm really hoping they could see this get pulled okay the this oh man corners look so good on this one i have a feeling that the audio probably cut out oh that's a beautiful looking card right there ricky henderson rookie card can you see if there's any audio? Can you turn it up and see if you can hear what we're saying? Wow, but you can't wow. chat. Uh, all right, let's see what we can do there. Um, I guess we'll take, we'll assume that we can see with Wayne and we will maybe try to restart the stream here. I cannot believe that we pulled that card. Ricky Hendricks, I don't even, all right, so no one can chat. Can you chat? Yeah, Hit refresh. I'm thinking, I, I, I don't know if you guys can still hear me or not, but this stream is broken um, in terms of you guys can't chat anymore. For whatever reason, YouTube decided to get funny and um, take away our chat capabilities. And um, I thought this, I thought this stream was dying. Um, sometimes when the chat disappears, then... The whole thing freezes up, and what's that say? The page isn't available. Sorry about that. What are you at? I went to Jab Squad. Watch. There we go. Are we still live? Gmail doesn't have any content. Go to videos. Oh, okay. So it looks like we're having some technical difficulties right now with YouTube. Um, unfortunately, we pulled the Ricky Henderson rookie card. What do you think we should do? You think you think it'll work if we start a new one? I can't really get any feedback from um, you guys. So let like the best part is being able to chat with you guys. I can end the stream and start to try to start a new stream. Uh, let's see here. I bet Wayne's super excited right now. Um, he found the Ricky Henderson rookie card. It's one touched and ready to go. Yeah, it says one. Now, when I try to look at it, it says video unavailable. All right, we are having some technical difficulties. I'm trying to watch the stream from my computer. It says video unavailable. Um, so that means that no people tuning in. I, I guess the stream is broken. So if you can still hear me, I'm sorry um, that this had to happen. Technical difficulties. I'm going to start a new live stream. We will resume at, um, I guess, it'll probably take me about five minutes to get uh, this a new stream picked up and ready to go. So hopefully we can resume and pick up where we left off until, um, I don't know, five minutes or whenever I get this. I will see you soon. Thank you very much for being here. We'll pick up with Wayne's pack and I'll recap that in case you guys missed it. So I'm going to sign off.